So here we go, we've got oculus.com slash setup here, and it looks like we have to download something to start. So, I'm downloading, it's done. And let's install this. Welcome to Rift. We'll start by installing Oculus software. Then you can create an Oculus account and set up your Rift. You'll need internet access and about 30 to 60 minutes to get it set up. All right, well, I don't really want to spend that much time, but I have to. So I really want to just jump into this. So let's go here. And I'm going to agree to these terms and services. Otherwise, I won't be able to use it. it gives me a health and safety warning here. And uh, let's see, it's just going to count down here. It gives me, I don't know, probably 10 seconds to read that. Oh no, it gives me 10 se yeah, seconds to read it without actually hitting a button automatically. Uh, basically, it's just, you know, giving you a warning so that it covers their butts as far as if you hurt yourself when you have this headset on. Remember, you're losing one of your senses and you're replacing it with something totally alien to where you're sitting. So they want to make sure that you're not walking around and hurting yourself or falling backward in your chair or whatnot. So that's where they're coming from on that. And let's see, it's going to install it on my main drive and that is my SSD. I do have enough space there, so that should not be a problem. It only requires 1.12 gigabytes, so that's fine. I can leave it on that for now. If I do want to change the drive, I could always do it at a later date. I do plan on putting another SSD in this build here, a second one. So install now, and here we go. Through the magic of editing, I'll probably condense this, or maybe just let you look at the cute or the pretty visuals as they come up here. Cute came to mind because my cat actually just sat in my lap. And she's a cutie. Okay, would you like to install this device software? Of course, that's why I did this. Oculus software installed. You can create an Oculus account and set up your Rift. So I guess I'm gonna do that. And down here, it's giving me the Oculus software so let's uh, probably back out of Chrome here and there we go so this is a splash screen where I'm going to create an account so you'll see in the lower right hand corner create an account create your oculus username well that's going to be my channel name Tech Harvest Okay, I edited out some sensitive information there, but basically it wanted me to create a username, and then it asked for my name, my first name and last name, and then my email address. So I set up an account, and then I had to go to my email because Oculus had sent me an email, and I had to verify that email account. Once I did that, you see here, account created. Welcome to Oculus. Let's customize your profile. So I'm going to go down here and hit continue, but here you see that I can choose an avatar here, and it looks like a couple aliens, some interesting things going on here. I don't know what I'm going to choose. They're all pretty cool looking avatars, I must say that. So let's see. If any of you have PlayStation Network, I'm Tech Harvest over there, so definitely friend me there. I'll accept all friend requests. But uh, you have the option of uploading a picture as well as choosing one of these. I think I'm going to choose one of these. There's not a lot to choose from at this point. But um, they are pretty cool looking, so I'll definitely find one of these that I like. I think I'm going to go with this alien up here, the second one. And now it gives me the privacy settings. It gives you the option to show your real name. Friends can see your real name. Anyone can search for you by your real name. I don't really want that on there. So, I don't want anybody seeing my real name. So, the next one is activity. Friends can see the app and device you're using. That's fine. Friends list. Anyone can see your friends list. That's fine. Now, it's asking for a payment method. And this is so you can buy VR games and more in the Oculus Store. I will obviously be doing that at some point, but I don't feel like getting my credit card out right now. So, we're going to skip this step right now and we'll add that at a later date when I actually want to buy something. Now it's saying set up a PIN. A PIN makes it easy to approve purchases in VR games. So the next step it says let's set up your Rift. Take your headset, sensor, remote, 
and controller out of the packaging. Well, that's already done. Get to know your Rift. Please remove the protective films. Do not expose lenses to direct sunlight. Use the provided lens cloth to clean the lenses. Lens cleaners that contain alcohol or other strong solvents may damage your lenses. So that's important to note. Lenses are fragile. Please handle your headset with care and do not drop it. Well, that kind of stands to reason. It's a very expensive device. Okay, it says connect your Rift headset. Plug in the cables of your headset and sensor now. You'll need to use two USB 3.0 ports on your computer and one HDMI port on your computer's graphics card. Now, the interesting thing is, is that my TV is hooked up through HDMI right now. So, I had a little bit of a problem with the graphics card. The HDMI port on it no longer works, unfortunately. So, Fast forward until right now, I have that solved. I have the graphics card replacement. I actually had to replace my graphics card. And that has been completed. So that is installed, and as you can see, the graphics card is working, no problem. So we're gonna pick up where we left off. You might notice a little bit uh, of a microphone looking thing in the foreground in front of my television set. That is the Oculus sensor. That actually looks at some infrared lights that are on the headset itself. So, nothing is connected as of right now. So we're gonna run through the Oculus setup wizard again. Connect your Rift headset and Oculus sensor. Plug in the cables for your headset and sensor now. You'll need to use two USB 3.0 ports on your computer and one HDMI port on your computer's graphics card. Fortunately, I have a DVI connection out to the television set, which also, interestingly enough, carries the audio to the TV and then from the TV out to my 5.1 system in the room here. So I do have an HDMI port readily available, which is nice. Of course, I have four USB 3.0 ports on my machine, so the two should be fine. So let me connect everything right now. Okay, I connected the sensor, and you might be able to see there, it might be a little bit small, but it says sensor USB, okay, perfect. Now it's time to plug in the Oculus Rift itself, and these are the two connectors on the cord that comes out of the headset. We have headset HDMI OK, headset USB OK, and sensor USB OK. Strangely enough, we have this interesting little box on the screen now. I don't know what that's all about. Let's see if it uh, stays or if it disappears. I'm going to hit Next here. Updating your firmware. Updating the firmware of your device gives you the best experience in VR. So I'm going to update this now. All right, update complete. I'm going to hit continue here. Start your Oculus remote. Pull out the tab on the back of the remote, then press the center button on the front. So you probably can see slightly there. Let me show you. There's the tab. So I'm going to pull that out. So I tried and tried to pull, and it wouldn't come out, so I just removed the back of it. And maybe that's what it wanted me to do initially, but... Uh, Maybe I, well, this is a little bit more in depth. Okay, so I pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled on this thing and it wouldn't come out. And that's because, you know, it was in like this and it was under this battery. So I just removed the back and pulled it out and it actually pulled the whole battery out. That's okay, I'll just have to get it back in here, no problem. Probably snaps into place somehow here. There we go. So, let's press the button in the middle of the remote. It says OK. About the remote. Use your remote to navigate VR and access the universal menu. The middle button is a select button. The disk around that select button is a navigation disk. Then you have a volume up, a volume down. You have a back button. And then you have the Oculus button, which will bring you back to the universal menu. Set up your Xbox One wireless controller. So I'm going to plug everything in. So everything is ready to go. Let's hit next here. Get ready for pairing. Plug your wireless adapter into any available USB port. I will do that. And the batteries are already uh, inserted into the Xbox One controller. So let's plug the actual uh, receiver end into the PC. All right, next up, let's see what we have. Press and hold the sync button on the wireless adapter, and then the same on the Xbox controller. So let's do that now. 
All right, Xbox controller is paired and ready to go, so that's good. Okay, your sensor works with the headset to track and match your movement. To get started, please remove the protective film on the sensor lens. Well, that has already been done. How tall are you? Well, I'm five foot ten. Place your sensor where you'll be using your Rift, at least three feet away from you. Point and tilt the glossy side of the sensor toward your face and remove anything that blocks you from the sensor. Okay, so we have a new camera angle here. I hope that works for you. Uh, the sensor, I kind of have it placed where I want it to be placed. And confirm sensor tracking, looking for rift. So I probably have to put the rift on at this point. Okay, so the sensor can't find the rift, so I'm just going to kind of hold it in front of me. Unfortunately, putting it on didn't say anything in there. It just told me to go back to the PC. So we're going to try again. All right, looking for rift. There we go, finally. Ah, sensor tracking confirmed, finally. That was interesting. I don't know why that was doing that, but that's fine. We're going to go to continue here. Personalize your rift. We designed rift for comfort and performance. We'll show you how to get the most comfortable fit and calibrate your headset for the best VR experience. Uh, it just shows you all the ways that uh, you can adjust this so you can fit it for your head. And customize your fit, loosen the side tabs, blah, blah, blah. Need to wear glasses with your Rift. Well, I am wearing glasses right now. It'll be interesting to see how that works with them on. I can put my contacts on if I need to. Okay, so I looked inside the Rift. Really, it's not telling me anything in there. It really wants me to go back out here. So uh, it, I've tried it on before. It fits fine. Fit complete. Let's go to the next step here. Prepare your space. I am pretty much prepared right now. Find the lens shutter, and that is actually going to change the distance between the lenses depending on how, um, how your eyes are. So it's more of a customized fit that way. Enter VR. Stand up and face the sensor. All right, this is what I'm waiting for. Attach the remote and put on your headset. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so what I'm seeing in here says adjust your lenses. Move the headset up and down on your face until the horizontal lines are clear. So there's a crosshair in the Oculus itself. Push in and shift the lens slider until the vertical lines are clear. So this is adjusting the distance between the lenses. Okay, so what I did is I put my contacts in because I didn't want to wear this with my glasses. So you can't see. Uh, what it says in the headset itself, but it's just asking me to adjust the lenses, move the headset up and down on your face until the horizontal lines are clear, push in and shift the lens slider until the vertical lines are clear. That basically is a uh, just a spacer between the actual lenses, and uh, everything looks really clear. I have a crosshair here, and I'm just going to press the uh, button on the remote to continue. All right, so I'm in a room, <laughs> in a foggy room. I see a representation of the center sensor in front of me, and uh, it's kind of low. It's probably right, right where it actually is in real life. And uh, the, the sound on this is pretty good. And it says, set your view in VR. Stand up in the position you plan to use the VR and look straight ahead. Press the select button on your remote to continue. So I'm going to do that and I'm being scanned. I was scanned by the sensor and it says default view successful. So I could redo it if I wanted to or I could just continue. And it says welcome to VR. Please enjoy a few short experiences to start your VR journey. Press the select button to explore. So I press the select button and it's loading up an experience. So I'm in a VR room, and you, you can see it. So I'm in Oculus Dream Deck right now, and I think you can see it. Yes, you can. Okay. You can skip any experience by pressing the Select button on your remote, or the A button on your controller. I'm using the remote right now. I don't have the controller in hand. Although I, I do have two games, I think, with this that came with this. Okay, cool. 
you're seeing this. So this is Dream Deck. I am in this uh, complete. I turn totally around. I'm in this world here. There's this tree. Everything is very uh, low polygon count, but that's the uh, the artistic design on this. So I can actually walk around in this world here. And okay, so we'll move into the next one. Oh, an alien. Very cool. Very cool. Wow. So I'm in this world. I'm walking around. He, he is uh, following me. Ooh, he's disgusted by me. I must smell. I must smell bad to the alien. I, I did shower today, so... That's unfortunate. Yeah? Is that so? <laughs> so very cool, very cool. What's the next experience here? All right, this is cool. So, I can look down off of this building here. Wow, that's a uh, long way down there. Long way down. Very cool. All right. <clears throat> okay, we got a dinosaur here. Got a dinosaur in this area here. So I can move around. This is tracking me, moving around. Tracking if I squat down. Very, very believable. Very believable. He's very, he's about two feet from my face here, or maybe three feet. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. It's quite an experience. I'm really impressed with the head tracking on this, how natural it seems, how natural it feels, and uh, I'm really impressed with the Oculus Rift so far. And like I said, no performance problems so far. Again, my GPU is right up to speed. My CPU, though, um, they say it's not recommended, but so far, so good. So... That's going to do it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, I'll definitely have more VR-related videos on the channel, and if you want to see more videos like this, click on the link at the end of this video. Again, if you, want to, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out the channel, you can give it a thumbs up, you can share this video on your favorite social media, or you can leave me a tip on my YouTube page, or you can actually join my Patreon, all of which is greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.